Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everyone's get it, having a good 2023. It's kind of story me last night, uh, closing out the previous year, but uh, hey, we're back with some more 13 Sentinels. Continuing on from yesterday, because uh, yeah, I still haven't unlocked the next wave of battles. Uh, we last left off with Ma and Natsuno, where uh, Shinonomi <laughs> stranded her in 2025. That can't be great. <coughs> so uh, today we're going to continue with uh, Mira. No idea what's going on with him, but uh, let's see. How was it? In trying okay. to make sense out of his story, and still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future, and it possesses my consciousness, which is apparently BJ. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 <coughs> years from now? <sighs> More mysteries, All I know although for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Yeah, 2188. <laughs> There's a Mira from then, apparently. But according to BJ, we might not really be ourselves, which is confusing. Katsuno-san, get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes, I admit she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. Which is weird. Of the idea of two similar parallel. Hey, it reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book, Parallel Worlds. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years, but this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. But it should be, right? Well, I don't think it's technically time travel if you're going into a parallel future or past. It's like non-linear time travel, I, say, I think. Shihiro. She was acting like a completely <laughs> different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? <sighs> Chihiro. What's happened to her? Chihiro... Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro. Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. Natsuno-san, I'm not sure why, but I really want to hear her voice right now. Could she still be at school? Uh, should we go? I, I guess so? I have no direction to go for now. Unless she's missing now? At this point? No point in trying to make sense and still but us. Natsuno sounds over there. Oh, what do I do? What's the hurry? Mirakun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. All right. Let's split up and find him. Okay. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay. Then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay. I'm on it. Thanks. <coughs> BJ's missing? Flying RC thing? It went back behind the North School building. 
think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. Didn't look like a helicopter to me. <sighs> so it can fly behind the north building. That's where the old school building is. Convenient <laughs> that they were there talking. No sign of them. Sounds like rotor blades. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno sounds worried about you. Wait, really? Why? Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyura. <sighs> Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight any sentinel in order to do this. I was resurrected. But why are you looking for number 17? Miura drives 19. So you've been using a sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. Then the Seventy-two percent of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Does not. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that she doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know what's going to happen. My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. Then what are we doing? We never travel through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura before you. I located the Sentinel. I can now access all logs. So the rest of the footage is available. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Before the finalization begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Chihiro Morimura's plan. Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Chihiro's plan? Isn't that what, that what we're doing, though? In the battles? Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. BJ? What do you know? Morimura-san. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors? Their structures are similar to these colonies, so that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then? I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over, from a time before the world took such a terrible... Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war, so this works out perfectly. However... Some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. We're... We're colonies based on eras? That's, uh... Okay, so we're not time traveling. We're split apart. Based on eras. 
Okay, Hijiyama. It's been a while. What's up with you, man? Mm -hmm. Still chasing after Okino? He was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to, but if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. What? This is it, all right. No, it's a far cry from the school I remember. Now, <laughs> I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. So rather than time travel, they just jump it between sectors. That explains why they're called sectors this and not actually given year names. It. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. Sentinel. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. But yeah. It feels like just yesterday I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro, and now four decades have passed in a blink of an eye, like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day <laughs> you came into my life. Hijiyama. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san, I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to See? Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world, and they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications <laughs> like you and Murakun, and they're beaming out these signals calling the destroyers here, even though they have no idea. This other threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications like me. They're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Right? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So this inner Lossiter... It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So, what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. Aren't you ditching right now, Okido? Be a liability for me, at least. There will be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. They, the school really needs to like lock up this old building. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Mm, 
Loki now. Still no sign of him. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world, but if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. He told me to wait until noon. I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here, so I'm not supposed to go outside, but... <sighs> Let's go. Come on, Takatoshi. You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Takatoshi's so funny. So basically, you mean? But then that means the dream is really. Uh. Huh? A student's duty should be to focus so on their studies. This kind of mean hanky panky has no place but then here. That means the dream is really. Not that that girl wasn't cute, I suppose, but clearly she has no so eye for men. You mean? But then that means the dream is really a uh, schoolyard break area. So basically... Is this when? Is this when <laughs> Shina Nome was having a breakdown? That's disappointing. It's not like that. It super is, though. You think so? <sighs> Did you see him? That boy was so cool. Was he? Does he even go to our school, though? Oh, please. <laughs> Piwa, please. There. That has to be. <sighs> I can't let myself get spotted now. Okino would probably never let me hear the end of it. Is Okino trying to hide the fact that he's alive? <sighs> I should look somewhere else for Okino. Just gonna go around until I find him. That's you, the one. Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Y yes. Shit, she's cute. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kisaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. <coughs> what? <coughs> no! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! He don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! <coughs> oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... Well, this is how Nenji got caught up in all this. Well then. I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun. This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... of course not. I'm sorry for hitting him. You can like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Ninji Ogata secured. 
despite complications. <laughs> okay, no, why? Help me get him into the old school building. <sighs> Poor Nenji. Oh dear. False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right, but we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make it there, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There, we've got a clue. But I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Okino. What's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code, and I have to say it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... What? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? So this is after they released Nenji? And then Okino just tied he. You could've just asked Hijiyama, I'm pretty sure he'd say yes. Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me, before I really get angry. Well that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Okino, please. Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the...? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? Physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop! Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! Okino, okay, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? That damned Okino. <laughs> I share your sentiments. Okay. Let's keep sure. going. <laughs> Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? When does he? Okay, now, please. Stir the more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Yes. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? Yes. He's unhinged. Yet you're attracted to him? So the sentence. If I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. Where are you getting money anyway? I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino?
choking on. Why do I feel like this? I see you made a friend. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. I just gave it a little food. Now it shows up here all the time, so... I ended up bringing food for it. Every day. Is that why there's so many strays around? You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. <coughs> Good kitty. Oh, there's something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Oh. Okino, are you still trying to look after me? Wow, he's crafty. Oh, I wish Okino was like part of the main 13. But he's one of the 15, it seems like. Whoa, she's one of the teachers at the school. I should go somewhere else. Yeah, stay away from Mohamura. Like, at all costs. Although, would Morimura know this is Hijiyama? Isn't she... <coughs> My yakisoba pun angel. Wait, what? Uh, she doesn't recognize me. And then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait, if she's a student here, then... That means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that yakisoba pond. Single track mind. Really simple. Hijiyama. There it is. She's almost missed out. They only had two left. Just one left. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Oh, no doubt about it. This is the same yakisoba pond from back then. <laughs> uh, what is going on? It's too much. So hungry. I've got no strength left. I can't go on like this. Starve to death. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <sighs> what am I thinking? I am an imperial soldier. The pride of the Empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. <clears throat> I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Yep, Megumi. Oh. Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? <laughs> Never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... <laughs> I know. <clears throat> What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose... I'll take you up on that. Yaki Soba Pond. <laughs> it's so good. Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could 
tasted anything so delicious exists in this world. It might taste even more delicious because you're starving, man. you going I can eat in peace here still I can't believe I got the last one I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior I was wondering where you'd run off to did you go buy that yourself Okino now time to finally enjoy my uh, uh. <laughs> do you Want half of this yakisoba pan? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food anyway? You enjoy it. You're the one who gave him well, money for it. If you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. You change clothes? Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. Want me to get back into the skirt? I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. And you don't have to be so <laughs> lewd about it. Okay, time to dig in. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her, but when? <coughs> How many times did you meet Megumi? Good grief. Hmm? You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pun. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. <laughs> wow. Can't argue with that logic. Who's you, Okino, unfortunately? <sighs> Who's there? I say that, but like, it it's fine for him, I guess. What's she doing out so late? Yeah. And more importantly, what's she doing here? Did you shoot him? Megumi? Wait, have we met somewhere? <laughs> She's the girl who saved me. She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel. Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite, uh... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yaki, soap upon angel. Why? Megumi, just... That was kind of uh, cold and heartless of her, but, uh... Okay. <laughs> Locked out again. The Yakisoba Pot Angel. <laughs> well, because of Megumi, you're obsessed, you're obsessed with Yakisoba Pod. Okay. Hi. Back to Nenji and his time loop. His unfortunate, unfortunate time loop. 
it like that. <coughs> Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? <sighs> gotta be kidding me. So all of this, it's all some big dream in my head? This Kizaragi, and that Fuyusaka, and Wajima, none of them are real? So the world's gonna end if he's right. I'm one of those people too. That was weird. So this key is a program that's calling the kaiju out. Except I'm just gonna see it as a normal ass key, I guess. You're not the real Kisaragi. You're just some ghost of her in my brain. What are you talking about? Is your head okay? Did you eat something bad? Don't even talk to me. What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Hey, could you not ignore me? Huh? Okino's not here anymore. Hey, Fuyusaka. Where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy meeting you here. I get it. I said he was gonna fix it. Guess this Eeyore, is your place he removed way, himself? Right? Where are you going? Karabe. Karabe. Hey, it's you. If I remember right, you don't take the train to school, do you? Guess I don't. But who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. So, you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. No. Now that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Last I heard, you were way into that shit. <laughs> well, what a shame. Looks like my train's here, which means this conversation is over. Nope. Uh hey, that's the wrong train. <laughs> Okay, we finally caught up to Karabe. This can't be Karabe. Doesn't matter if we run. So you followed me. Why'd you run, huh? You're on the wrong train, Nenji Ogata. Doesn't matter which one I take. Same damn thing happens anyway. I always get taken out by the kaiju. Yeah, that about sums it up. You're not Karabe. That's just embarrassing. I really need to hide my tracks better. I've been getting sloppy. Never figured you'd come looking to take it back. Who the hell are you? Uh, he disappeared. Natsuno has the key? That's Minami behind you. And look what she's got. I don't know how I know, but... That's the key. Gotta be. Do you know anything about what kind of code this is? Do you even know what you've been looking for? I know the key's a program that controls the kaiju, and now I know Natsuno Minami's got it. If you know that, then why are you on their side? You think you know what they're gonna do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her. Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? I don't even know who you are. I'm Juro Izumi, a version of Juro Kurabe from another world. What the hell? I've come to save you. That's why I'm here. To protect her control key. But why? Fine. Trust me or don't. I don't care. Just forget about finding the key. I can't do that. That key's gonna destroy the world, right? If you let me handle this, you won't regret it. But if they found out that Natsuno Minami has the key, you think they'd be nice about getting it out of her? <sighs> Got a point. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. They might break her. Leave her like Ryoko Shinonome, or they might just kill her. She's a pawn in their game. Just another sacrifice. 
think this through. Report. Did you find it? No. I analyzed the station you're seeing. Basically, it's a visual representation of a kind of database. It kind of got tangled with your memories, so not everyone there will be relevant. But at least one of them has accessed the decode. You just need to find out who. Say I find this person with the key, right? What are you gonna do to him? Do you even need to ask? I'm going to cut off the D-Force's appearance. Once I control the commander, I control the kaiju. If that's impossible, I'll just destroy the control key. <sighs> Don't worry. You'll be free to go. All right. I didn't say this before, but this is an inherently risky process. The more loops we do, the more stress your brain gets put under. If you don't find it soon, I can't promise you'll survive. Am I clear? You need to investigate the people on that platform closely. Let's run it again. The hell am I supposed to do? Like, Nenji's not gonna give up Natsuno. He wouldn't do that. Like, at all. Well, then Ninji can't just let himself die either. What the hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Minami's got the key, but if I let Okino know, I'd be throwing her under the bus. <sighs> that Izumi guy, he said he'd handle it. Can I even trust him? I want to ask you, if you knew, how would you spend them? So that guy Izumi, he's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true, that League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, she did something to my key. I remember now. She said something about the Sentinels, probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. So the world's... So the one who has the key, they're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to. Never thought Minami would have it. What's wrong? Guess Okino's not here. Okay, the first train's gonna be Fuyusaka and... Karabe. Fancy meeting you here. Usami-chan, Iori, you're... where are you going? I've just got a thing over... Oh, I do, though. Hey. Huh? Oh, Ogata-kun. <sighs> That's weird. It seems like plain old Karabe again. Actually, this is pretty good timing. Someone was just looking for you. They asked me to give you this. Here you go. Who's this from? Izumi, I think he said. Tsutsuji like bound semi express go. departing at 512 first car who is this guy what's his angle let's see the 512 that's the third son in the first car that one stops over at the end of the platform what's wrong i didn't so i just need to wait for her train Hajima's gone too. Okay. Whoa. Ryoko Shinonome gets on the second train. Can I not talk to her? Senpai? Are you okay? I have to go. I wish I could help you, Shinonome. How am I supposed to get the first car if they all would go? Huh. Just gotta wait, I suppose.
sorry for ignoring you, Tommy, but you're not real. And it's pissing Nenji off that you're not real. The train's already here, so I'm gonna go. Hmm. You're from 1C. Hey. You even listening? Jeez, if I get on the train now, is it even gonna change any? I'm gonna go in. Izumi's using Megumi? I'm back here. Oh, something popped up. Now you're messing with me too? You're from Minami's class. You another of Okino's goons? Okino? I don't know who that is. Then why are you here? I was told to come here so I could save Nenji Ogata. You're here to save me? But Nenji Ogata's right here. So why are you appearing on this screen? That's like a version of me inside my own head. So I just need to pull this thing off your head? Hey, hey, don't do that. They said if it gets forced off, I might never wake up again. Jeez, call the police, I guess? My contact wants to keep this discreet. Fluffy told her to come hey, here. Call your contact. Get them to do something. Well, he's a cat, so <laughs> his options are limited. Oh. He's a what? He's a talking cat who's here to save the world. What the shit are you talking about? Look, do you see any kind of, I don't know, a power button? None here. Well, what do you see? A button that says, reinitialize. Okay, don't touch that. Probably dumps me back at the station. Something here about a restriction? Maybe that's it. You think you can turn that restriction off? I can try. How's it looking? Hold on. Still checking. Hey, you talked about saving the world. You mean from the kaiju, right? Right. So, all that stuff I saw on the train, it really could happen. If you could fight back, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Then, I'll cast a spell on you. What the? Some kind of robot? Really? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere, thing. Megumi was there. Megumi shot Hijiyama just to save Nenji. It okay. Well, we can still continue with Nenji, so let's keep going with Nenji. I. I just... I want to make sure you're gonna be safe, Kisaragi. Jeez, why do you sound so serious all of a sudden? If you're going back, then I'm coming with you. <sighs> I got something I gotta do. Just wait right here a sec. Oh, sure. That big robot. Well, the Sentinel. If I could just pilot that thing. If this crazy loop does eventually become reality, maybe I could at least beat down a couple kaiju. Going. This time, I got out of this place by chasing him. All oh, right, because <laughs> Okino's not there to like watch Nenji. Hey, 
What's wrong? Can't move, huh? Over here. Hurry. She's more badass than I am. <laughs> She's just desperate. Which is not healthy for her. But she does good work. about my limits. I love you. And that's why I gotta break them. I... I... And then G. That's his story done. Well, we're locked for Kisaragi. But that was actually kind of nice. <laughs> and then G's awesome. Cool. He does shoot himself in the foot a lot, though. Either that or he's just unlucky. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's got to be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like, not having a body of your own? This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up, but that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike, but I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way the school can't get on my case about it. Yuki Inaba's been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. I see Tomi Kisaragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. But if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out for a sec. <sighs> could use a sugar boost. Yeah, <coughs> me up should do it. 
So another version of Amaguchi is in love with Tomi. someone and they dump me in a psych ward so what can i do okie knows there Amiguchi-kun. oh hey kurabe-kun could we hang out today you got it let's see why don't we go to your place this time don't you have the place to yourself right now i want to check it out it's true my grandma's away visiting relatives but well, right now, I have a guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so, uh, sorry. It's just not a good time. Well, all right. Let's go to my place then. Thanks. <laughs> Did we even go to school? Okay, this is meeting up with Juro's path. Done already? Because <laughs> Shiva's supposed to be playing, but Shiva doesn't exist. Sorry. Looks like all we've got is soda. Thanks, Amiguchi kun. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. And Shiva's not here to complain. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh, do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's <coughs> place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? <sighs> well, anyhow, you want to get food? We could swing by the video store, pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For you and me. Huh. <coughs> Memory transfer complete. Now, open your eyes, Juro. Or 
Maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Ida created 426? Do you recognize me? seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. And how do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs. Not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero, brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer, so we're gonna have a little chat about your research. What do you want to know? Your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the inner lossier, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off. So I'll need more details. What are you doing, Ida? Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you hit some snag with the method? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Ah, uh, Ida. That's not a good look on you. transplant my mind aren't you you want to replace the tomi kisaragi of this world with me do you realize how horrifying that is how could you wait look it'll mean you can be human again it means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl but she's you it'll be your heart and mind going into your own body what's wrong with that <sighs> but what about her heart and body She's also- that other Tomi is also Tomi. You know she's dead. The girl you're talking to, she's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if- even if you steal her body and transfer my mind. Please, I- without you, I'm- You know I love you, but- I can't support you. I can't support this. Uh, that explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. Just standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. You could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? So Why this did is... you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. 
This must be when 426 took control of Android Tomy, but then why did Android Tomy go after Minami? No, it was probably because Minami had the... She had the decode then? <coughs> was he looking for the decode? Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry, I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Huh? Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. I've heard enough. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here, we're just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life, just like you did to me. <sighs> I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. <sighs> That's right. Better watch carefully. Never know what might happen. <sighs> how, how did there. 426 there jump, though? That should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. <sighs> no, just yours, Ida. You know, are you mad? <sighs> How did 426 do it? Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? <laughs> Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, me, son. Sorry, but I need this body more than you do. Must have fallen asleep watching a video. Looks like Karabe kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ah, uh, the dream just now feels like it started off the end of the last one. That was creepy. Of course. You saw the video. Hey, man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... he's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea, he doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. Are you related to Shiva? Seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, 
then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Who's working with who here? I'm confused. Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't gonna be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity as a species. You will all be moved to another planet, and whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Back cool. to shoe. Just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my the way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. My motor the way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. Man, she hmm? Yuki? I see Yuki-chan. Maybe Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria. I should get going. <coughs> Whoa! Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I was just thinking about you. And now, here you are. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. You know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. No. <laughs> if you're drinking Hazy, I might as well drink Hazy. Look at that. We match. Like hell, idiot. <laughs> a little sweet, a little sour. How about the beach? I know a place with a great view. I said no. What, you don't have any place you want to go? A place from back in the day? Somewhere with good memories? <sighs> Got a place on your mind? Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. Reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. Ah. That's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. No, let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. Hey! This is the perfect chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. Where are we? Where, what did you tell him? Let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Just 30 kilometers in diameter. An enclosure? Hmm. We live in a we bubble. News from all over the world. You're telling me we're closed off? No, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So, I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki Bypass. You should now be able to see the truth. <sighs> go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. <sighs> Whoa! 
What the hell? How'd I agree to this shit? Huh? You say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? <sighs> She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? Used to go to her place every summer. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. No kidding! I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. And we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree, up on the hill behind the house. That's weird. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. And we'd go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? And the river, the watermelon, it sounds exactly like what I remember. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? Well, we're almost 15 kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... What the hell is this place? What's going on? sure doesn't look like a construction site. It just goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? No way. I can't believe it either. How could I? It mean this 30-kilometer enclosure, this isolated city, is the only world we've ever known. So the world doesn't exist. That just... That's just... More evidence for BJ. Saying that we're we're just colonies of clones or something. Cool. So me and Karabekun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> And how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my... In my... The wing... She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. The existential dread! Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well... Probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Juro. Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. Uh, huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Kurabe-kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out, too? Hmm. Time to stalk him. Huh? Yuki-chan? No. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. Oh. 
Where did Karabi go then? <sighs> Maybe I need some fresh air. <coughs> Are we not gonna follow Karabi? I I kind of want to. Just go public. Lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me. Send that tape out to TV stations. Almost got you so spaced out. Uh, Amiguchi, just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could. Hey, uh, remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? Oh, you know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Oh, I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Oh, this was when Megumi shot him. To be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. <sighs> again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I, I, I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <clears throat> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20. Transmitting. <gasps> Gucci. I remember this. It was really weird. Poor Megumi. Poor Amaguchi. Launch point looks to be Yaimachi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies and the US military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? That Sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? So Ida doesn't know about Shu. But at this point, Shu knows a lot about Ida. And maybe not this Ida in particular, but some Ida. Space? No way! I knew I was going up, but I can't have gone that high. Altitude reading says 2,078 meters. You've bypassed the upper shield. <coughs> You are now outside the enclosure. I'm outside the wall now? So, outside that, it's just... space? What does all this mean? I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but none of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. And you are its operator. Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? Intruders from another district. They left their origin point, and came to your world. Another district? Wait, there's more than one of these places? We need to hide the Sentinel. I can't do anything for you here. You have to go back to your sector. Go back how? This thing's got propellers. Whoa! 
Gucci? Oh, hey, it's Yuki-chan. I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. Oh. So Ida is aware of Shu. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan? You know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way! Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... <sighs> I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. Shinonome, this is all sketchy. Please help. And we're locked by fights. Okay. Time to search for Natsuno. Cause, uh... Oh, oh Shinonome, why did you strand her? Probably still watching me, just waiting to use me. <sighs> Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Ryoko Shinonome seems like she's completely forgotten, but she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. And so the that means four eyes. <laughs> and the mild-mannered girl covered in dust is 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 this Erika Aiba slash Tamao Android, who is right now 426 because it jumped from Kisaragi to Tamao? Nachan was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it, that projector I hid looks a lot like a box too. Could it be the same one? Nachan, my childhood friend. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility, but what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. That thing I hid. I need to take a closer look, but I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. How do I ditch her, though? There you are! You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes, but I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. <sighs> are you upset with me? Sorry, I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. He's gonna follow us, possibly. I feel like she would. Ugh, smells like mold in here. I saw something that... It's in here. Oh, there it is. right. Because this is BJ. Because Shinonomi took him from Natsuno. 
It's somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. I don't think I'm that bad. Oh, and this oh, is it's you. before Sekigahara got his memory loss. Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Hey, hands off! Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya, but that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Tokisaka Shrine. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. You don't mean... Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Well, at least we're saving that Chan. <laughs> could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachan been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. What? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels? We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's Sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on time. So, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth. If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. I'm pretty sure she... Didn't she go to the UFO underground? Or does she know about that? 
Where could she have gone? Huh? Oh, not John. What if she's alone, shivering, scared in that ruined city? I won't give up on her. A city in ruins, and this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits. Name's Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. We finally found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. I saw some mysteries. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? This Andre also shot Natsumi. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also. Hey, you! Got a sec? You have more questions? I already told you everything I know. Hmm. Robbie? Can't. Okay, she doesn't. Megumi doesn't know anything else. Where am I supposed to go? You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I'm telling you, Destiny sure wants us to be together. Uh, this again? <laughs> uh, wait, can he not see Erica? Are we looking for... Nah, I just want to keep... How's that, Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health. What? How about a date? No thanks. I mean, really, how many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy-haired head of yours? How about until you go on a date with me? <sighs> I got my bike with me today, so I was thinking... Ooh, a bike? Sounds wonderful! Mm, who's this? Apparently, she's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Sorry, pretty boy, but I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay, well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me for being too aggressive, you know. Huh. Yuki-chan, next time's a date for sure. Uh, well then, shall we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, shoo, get me away from this android. Well, Yuki doesn't find out about the outer walls until later, I suppose. Robbie went somewhere. you're still wearing the uniform from your last school why did oh, uh yeah you know if you need help with anything come and see me anytime all right morimura gave this note to me i haven't heard from you in some time 
Shit. You need she to wants me to do something, and the first step is talking to Iba. So she knows Iba. Well, she has to know Iba's an android. I check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. I was going over like old cutscenes and stuff. Apparently, Iba was the one who introduced Juro Karabe to the school. Where are we going? Oh, right. I think it was uh, Megumi's prologue, where Morimura like forbade her from like. Um, <laughs> contacting Karabe at all. We went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erika Iba. In the hospital. Ugh. The real Iba has been sick. Confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamao. Is Tamao your real name? Ugh. Well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. <laughs> that wasn't background. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act, it makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witness that day, and I recently found the second one. You did? Who's there? Ugh. Oh. Sekigahara. Hey. Oh, what are you doing? Is that Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her, an android. Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away, looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. <coughs> I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. <clears throat> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me is you. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the sh Right, they did say that. You're not Erika Aiba. You're not Ibo Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time, I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. So this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now, but the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. 
They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh shit, Aiba! Stay back. It's not dead yet. You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for it will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Are they gonna go after him? Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Aiba. So I guess we're going to get more of this story from Shinonomi's perspective, I feel like. A closed world. Which one was a closed world? Oh. Right. When Natsuno got stranded. Thanks, Shinonome. Thanks a lot, Shinonome. Aiba, where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A city. Not yet. Erika Aiba is a robot? Or, more accurately, Izumi, who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now, the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. So the box, I thought... How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. Sekigahara is there. I saw... <coughs> Anyone there? Are you in here? Is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> we are here! Sekigahara, what happened? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation, but there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad void being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. 
You'll need it to save Minami. I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you be okay by yourself? Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. Well, I guess we have to go. But this explains why... Yuki had... Had... Uh, had... <laughs> the PJ with her and gave it to Sekigahara in his, um, prologue. So, where is Nachon? Southeast. 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy-ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean... Nachon? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. I saw something that's... I'm ready. Lead the way. <coughs> They're back. Even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here? Without anyone knowing? You're okay. Yuki-chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, all right? I know. But why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki-chan! The Kimbolar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! This is why the androids could not approach. Interesting. You came back for me. Of course. Spell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you. With everything I have. <laughs> Oh, that was all of it. Well, <laughs> Yuki completed her goal of finding Nachan. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> what am I supposed to do with you, Shinonome? <laughs> So the nineteen eighty it was he's amazing. Number Rano A sec the cold We're still see Take those when the medicine you make, but don't worry. If Mr. Eda about How do they not know Eda's alive? What am I supposed to do? Okay, I don't have the surveillance footage word. <laughs> Empty cafeteria. Is something new at the cafeteria now? K. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to get to the cafeteria, I suppose. You should. I can't walk. I need. To... This should make me feel. Where are you going? Stop following. That's not happening. Empty cafeteria. How do I get there without triggering the pill dialogue? He's... Is it... Yeah. Do you like sleep Oh, no. <laughs> what sort of women do you like? Well, I. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miwa, for being a great distraction. Senpai? Who are you? This is an hide. You should. Yuki. Empty. I guess they're done selling. Uh, my head. It hurts. That girl. Fuyusaku Yakushi. All of the. Shino Nome. What are you doing? What? Those black suits. They're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU, too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head... It's empty. I need the nurse... Uh, I can't go back there, though. Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him. Four Eyes? Tetsuya Ida, from the Special Investigations Unit. <laughs> Mr. Ida, but why would he... You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Omiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. <sighs> but you having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside. Like nothing. Also, you could have a do over with her. Shinonome kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. <sighs> Wait, Shinonome-kun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. So, do you remember now? No. There's no way. I shot him? Yep. Then you booked it out of there. Anyways... Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? I saw... a recording. A recording of what? No, stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. There's no time. I need 
to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Eda's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is... Research on AI? The data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here? The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. Which Morimura? So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay, maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the locks. She didn't know his mind so broken, I'm so confused. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's the leader. that body just for me. No. I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another. Right away. You should make bodies for the others. Instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible. What? By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Yuko. Look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No, absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Iyakuna. Tomi. Please, put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, None of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over? From the beginning. From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kizaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Not healthy, healthy at all. Oh. Walk behind fights too. Me? Hey, Kurabe, we're back to you. But yeah, so that means Tetsuya Ida was the one who created or helped set up BJ. Okay, what do we need to do? To Casa Okino.
Okay, we just need to like escape the classroom before uh, Shiva does anything. What do we do with the Sukasa Okino keyword? Well, before we go back to Karabe though, I'm gonna grab some more water, so I'll be back in a moment. All right, got some more water, and let's go back to right. Juro's mental dilemma, existential dilemma. It's it's everything really. Let me guess. You're pretty much. See ya. Bye. So, do you have? It's about Kisaragi-san. Usami-chan? Where does she always go? Why do you ask? Ogata-kun was looking for her. <coughs> oh, really? Maybe Nenji-kun likes her. So, do you know? She goes to Tokisaka Shrine. I think she's waiting for someone there. Tokisaka Shrine? Is that the one that's supposedly haunted? <sighs> I've been there before. Something happened there. <sighs> I can't remember. Oh, wait! Tell Nenji kun. The person she's meeting is a boy, so. Oh no. <laughs> I guess she doesn't like love triangles. They say the shrine by our school is haunted by ghosts. Kisaragi san's told me a bit about it. She seems interested in the shrine for some reason. That guy in my dream, he called himself Sukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. Shibakun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. I try... In my... You know... That... Who you saw... Wait. 
what exactly? Can't we just leave? Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours. The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory... When... No. Escaping. Hey, watch it. She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogatakun? Yo, yeah, corrupt, sure am. Got a clue. Do I just tell her them? I, I guess I do. Hey. I think I do have an idea. I heard she went to Tokisaka Shrine. Huh? For real? The heck is she thinking? Wait! I'll come with you. There's something I want to check. Be my guest. Okay. Just gotta always escape the classroom before this Shiva thing. screws things up. I've been here before. I think I saw something. The memories are starting to come back, but I can't remember any specifics. Gata, you... Hey, Hijiyama, you remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? <sighs> yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. What? Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san, but according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Is it Okino? Well, wait, what so is- So this Okino you're looking for? Is that Tsukasa Okino? What, you know him? Not exactly. That's just the name I heard in my dream. But it's probably the same person. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh, oh. You don't know either? <laughs> Karabi is just confused. Uh, it was right here. Something happened. Uh, but what was it? Oh yeah, I carried something over to the dumpster. <laughs> What's up? There's a, a corpse in there. The hell? No way. Cut the cra- Whoa! Isn't that- Hey! Give me a hand! Sure looks like a corpse, but this thing's a robot. It's- Tamao san Why? Why does it look like her? Tamao? Tamao Karabe. Wait. No. This is- Juro, did you do something? It's dark out already. Well, that's okay. This was worth the detour. I finally got my hands on that movie. Now I just need to get home and watch it. I'm sorry it had to come to this. I should never have let you out of the underground. Just as I thought, you've returned. If only I hadn't spared you. I won't let anyone interfere with my escape. You must think you're handling this situation well, but you are is well aware. I doubt it. The reason he deleted your memories at school was to hide them.
the lock from you. Quit stalling. Morimura must have arranged this. Sekigahara, what are you trying to escape? Um... Oh, she's... not human. Is this a doll? Mm, that's odd. If that's the case, then... who was talking to him? Jirokurabe, don't move a muscle. Or would you like your skull to be crushed? This body will not last for much longer. I approximate about five minutes. But that should be plenty. I need only enter your nanomachines. I thought I was done for, but it seems today's my lucky day. <laughs> That's why we can see Shiva. Hey, what are you doing? Juro. What? Who are you? Come on, man. Did you forget your best buddy? I'm afraid. That's not very nice. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I remember now. You're Shiba-kun. Wait, hold on. I was attacked. I need to call the police. Attacked? Maybe you really did go nuts. Huh? Are you telling me this doll attacked you? Where'd you get that thing anyway? Don't just leave this thing out in the street. What if it causes a car accident? You'd be in deep shit, man. Uh, yeah, you're right. Let's just dump it in the trash. Uh, wait, something's just... Oh, snap out of it. Come on, I'll help you get rid of the thing. Just pick it up already. Um... All right. <laughs> so, this was how he met... <laughs> oh, dear. That's not great. And lock file. Okay. I could get into the fights now. Yes. But this is so much more interesting. Okay, Yori. <laughs> you confessed to Sekigahara. What next? <laughs> Fuyusaka's story is so simple. Okay. Shall we get a bite to eat? Again? Uh, yeah. Good idea. You can choose, Miwako. Mm. Is something wrong with Sami-chan? First you helped me look for that record. Now this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Oh, come on, don't overthink it. I, I just figured, you know, you know all the best places to go. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Uh, of course. In that case... That's right. Okay, nothing new with her. You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? Sure. What do you feel like today, <coughs> chan You're about to find out. Is it because... Is this a different Miwa? I remember in Tomi's story, Miwa did get stranded somewhere. Was that an izakaya? I thought those places didn't open till late. They don't, but you can still order yakitori for takeout. I've been wanting to try it forever. It's so good. Well, it's hot off the grill and charred just right. What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. <laughs> You're right. People are giving us looks. They say high school girls can get away with anything, but this is embarrassing. Just try a bite, Sami chan <sighs> Oh. Whoa, that is good! Mmm! I love the sauce! Well then, now that that's taken care of, do you have something to tell us, Iori-chan? Huh? Don't think we can't tell. What are you guys talking about? Come on, spill the beans! 
I thought we were friends, Yuri-chan. Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? We have a right to know! <laughs> I guess. Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. <laughs> she did. Uh... His name is A. Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people. You know him, Usami-chan? Well, uh, let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. I... I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid, but I can't stop how I feel. Yuri. There he is. Huh? Sekigahara-kun! Come with me. What? But... You. What do you want with Yuri? Tell me, Kisaragi. There's no time to explain. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. <sighs> Yuri-chan, follow your heart. If you need to go, then go! Uh, right. <laughs> do you still have those dreams? Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. <sighs> no way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean, Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun the same? Kurabe? You're acquainted with Tamao-san? Tamao? No, I meant Juro Kurabe from my class. Juro? So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. So up to this point, Sekigahara didn't know Juro had his name changed. Wait, that means if Juro Karabe isn't really Karabe, he's hey, he's not really related to Tamao. Looks like we got here first. Oh, is Tamao the fifteenth? Let's wait here. So it's the main cast of thirteen mm. plus Okino and Tamao. Um. Hey. Sekigahara-kun, would you mind if I called you Akun? If that's what you want. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> What's wrong? <coughs> Are you okay? You know, I grew up just like you, right here in Ashitaba City. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage? It'll happen here any day now. Just as you saw in your dreams, this town will come under attack by the Daimos. If those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories, that's why you both came here, right? To fight the Kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. Wait, why not? At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. But this world is beyond saving. Huh? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. <gasps> the city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. What about Miwa-chan? She's still here, and so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <gasps> Jimura came here from Sector 1. You're no different. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case... I'll do it, just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. And how do you plan on doing that? <sighs> Juro has no memory of what happened, but I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... 
We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? <sighs> Aikun. Um. Well. You know what? I'll go check if Miss Murimura is here yet. <sighs> Fuyusaka-san. She looks just like in my dreams. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Miss Morimura. <sighs> Go on. Tell her. <sighs> Miss Morimura. <sighs> Go on. <sighs> Is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <sighs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention, but things have changed. Oh? Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then, what's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Which Juro? Him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean the Kurabe Kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi Kun. Oh, your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> tell me. The truth is, I am no longer human. <sighs> when the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. That's all that's left of me. You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. So that's what a loop really is. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188, held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world, Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Sekigahara-kun, I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? You do eventually, Sekigahara. You can't do that! <laughs> if Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place. Aikun! <laughs> Young Chihiro? How was... How does Young Chihiro tie into all this? Aikun, I'll protect you. 
Let's do this together. If only I had the courage to take your hand. That would have been for the best. <laughs> I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything Taba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. It really came. The day of the attack. Only one thing left to do. Akun Sentinel, number 15. No, but... wait, no. Wait! Sekigahara doesn't drive 15, does he? Akun, wait! Or he used First to? First you show up at school all of a sudden, and then you... Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Uh, um... I'm not ready for this. I found it. Odd place to be shot. Whoa, what is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true, that's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine, but it's in better hands with you. I really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. Uh, Akun. So he did give his sentinel to her. Then where did he get a new sentinel? Just as Akun said, I'm going to believe in myself now. Mom, Dad, Miwa-chan and the rest. I can do it. I can protect you all! It's time! I may be just a schoolgirl, but now, I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot! Heck yeah, you are! That's... That's <laughs> your story. Cleared. Still locked. Where were we at 28% with A? <laughs> really? Okay. Let's see how much of Sekigahara's we can do. Still need to figure out his memories. Sure there are none of those men in black suits here? Positive. Shihiro Morimura's objective. One with great implications. Especially for those from another world. Like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. That must be it. That must be why I killed her. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me, and I have yet to give her an answer. What was I going to do? Chihiro more than there's an oral I think you're fonder for Sekigahara. It's hard to tell with you. You don't hate her or dislike her at least. I did see them earlier in the morning. But I haven't seen them at all this afternoon. Do you think they left? I seriously hope so. If a random stranger like me is seen on campus, will that be a problem? Oh, I don't know. Will it? <sighs> but you shouldn't worry, especially with that uniform. It may be from the future, but it's still a Sakura High uniform, so you don't have to feel like a stranger. How would you know it's a Sakura High uniform? So tell me, what's Sakura High like in the future? In the future, 
Well, there should be a new building up and running. Should be? Yes. You'll see it for yourself someday. Uh, no fear. Is anyone just allowed to enter the nurse's office? Well, there's no teacher there, so it's closed right now. She doesn't know more of dead. Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Oh, it's you. Yori, what's up? Hey, Sami-chan. What are you doing here? Well, he wanted to check out the school. So I'm just showing him around. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. Yep. Anyway, we'd better get going. All right. See you later. Sneaky <laughs> Gahara has no idea who she is. Well then. Imagination. Ah. What's up between Tomi and Sekigahara anyways? Having way too much fun. Oh. What's wrong? Well, um, it, it's just the two of us in here together, all alone. Ah. Uh. Are you looking for something, Akun? It must be really important. Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk, and it's probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay. I'll make up another excuse. Then I might be able to get my hands on it. Are you gonna get in trouble? You really don't think things through. The label's a bit different, but it lists the same medication. Oral NM. C0204. Just like the bottle I picked up before. Let's take a look at these student medical records. Ryoko Shinonome. Looks like she was given C0204. Morimura. She's been administering this drug to these students. Ryoko Shinonome. There are more. Shu Amiguchi. Shu's taking it too? And so, did you manage to find the key? Maybe we. The nurse's office is closed. Come back when... <sighs> you better start talking. Those men that are after me. Are you working with them? This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? Sekigahara, wait! Don't shoot! You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? Hey, Megumi! I only followed you out of sheer curiosity, but what in the world just happened with Megumi? Not a thing. And you're wandering around by yourself? Where's Iori? <sighs> What's your problem? Well, clearly I'm just a hopeless busybody. <sighs> I'm going to look for Megumi. You asked Megumi to shoot you? That girl with the braids. I know I've seen her somewhere. But where? Damn it. Come on, think. That's right. She's... The 
lights are still on. Maybe this place isn't entirely abandoned. This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. This all looks like <coughs> research data. Ah, here we go. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. So, this is a Shikishima facility. Current year is 2104. I've shifted 40 years into the future. Or what the hell? I keep getting these terrible headaches. Could it be from shifting? This looks bad. Another one? Okay. Um, don't I have a gun? I supposed to oh wait what do I have on me actually I don't have anything on me over here okay <laughs> don't just walk up to the Android to die, you should stop snooping around The surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> I inspected the sentinel that was transmitted underground. How much do you understand about the current situation? I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. I have no idea what happened. Then allow me to fill you in. I'll start from the end. The sentinel, or... You, rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD-426. Code DD-4... what is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nanomachines in your body, to be specific. Its main function is cut, is physically connected to the brain. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. You can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. So Sekigahara was the first one infected. I've had them ever since I got here. This is all so sudden. I'm not entirely sure I can believe her, but I do keep getting these headaches, and I definitely don't want to become an empty husk. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nanomachines is restricted. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. How long... how long do I have before I become a husk? It depends on the intensity of the infection. Or how much time you spend inside the infected sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. To spread to your entire body, It'll take about a month. That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few days. A few days? I may not be able to remove it, but there is a way to delay its effects. Fortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. It's nothing complicated. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nanomachines can use it. And because you're an android, you don't have nanomachines. I have to ask, what's a young girl like you doing in this place by yourself? Uh. I see. The androids here are wrapped in a human-like skin, just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. 
That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? You should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. Is that so? So? How does my offer sound to you? I don't really have a choice. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. And that's how... Tomi got out of the lab. Because Sekigahara sh- or Android Tomi got out of the lab. Sekigahara shifted... 426. The same pills I take. I saw her at the school, but what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. DD-426. Likely the... Come in. Are you there? Uh, found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. The I label matches the one on the bottle I right. had. Oral NM. Just leave me alone for a moment, Ida. Ryoko Shino, no, let's see. Lay nano machine separation on the brain. Applying memory link enhancement. C0204 and C22. I know you can hear me. So there are two types of pills then. C0204 is the same one I have. It's been over a week since she last received a dose. I wonder how she's doing. Without the pills, her memory must also be suffering. Oh, they changed her medicine. Shu Amiguchi. He was administered NM A8076. Looks like a different kind of nano machine medication. Seems it was only administered once. All it says is 20% transplant rate. Juro Izumi. He's receiving two types of treatment NM A8075 and B01. He received four doses of A8075, then switched to B01 from the fifth dose on. There's a scribbled note here. B01 was synthesized by Tamao Kurabe. Chihiro Morimura's objective. The note. There's a. Now that I think about it, this is the same gun that Android was using, the one from the future. Hey, you! <laughs> what were you just holding? Show me right now. Now do what I say and empty your pockets. Uh, some kind of toy gun? I'm taking you in for further questioning. Uh. Damn it! Freeze! I know you can hear me. <laughs> uh, that that I don't think that was supposed. To... I should have been smarter about that. <laughs> Looks like I managed to lose that cop. It's basically the nano machine equivalent of a virus program, except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories, or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. The medical records of three shoe, they've all been administered a pill called NM. A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. Whoops. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. Well, I missed that call. It has a very limited range. All that running, and I end up back here. Morimura's death hasn't been made public yet. Those black suits must have disposed of the body. Okay. Let's say I did kill <coughs> her. At that point, they were already coming after me. Did I lure Morimura out here? It just doesn't add up. Why do I feel like Morimura asked him to kill her? I managed to find some good clues here before, but I'm still not sure what some of them mean. This key I had on me, it has some kind of emblem on it. Was I driving a car? Oh, the emblem appears to be a button. Not yet. This is the note Morimura had in her possession. I don't understand these rows of numbers. Are they even related? Okay, now let's summon our motorcycle. Mm. Well, I 
pressed it. No nearby car made a sound, though. Maybe it's somewhere further away. There you are. How in the world did this motorcycle get here? Did it come when I pressed the button on the key? Voice authentication. Verified. A key is required to unlock this vehicle. It's voice activated, too? Is this... a self-driving motorcycle? Vehicle unlocked. You may issue commands using your voice. Please set your next destination. Hey, who do you belong to? Registered drivers of the Sheik SXRNR, A. Sekigahara, and Chihiro Morimura. Chihiro, Me? too? And Morimura? It looks like I've used this motorcycle before, then it must know where I've taken it. I'm guessing you have a travel log, right? Can you pull it up? Displaying travel log. Oh, looks like I've taken this thing all around the city, but there are only two places I've visited multiple times. Aside from Sakura High, it's just this one other spot. Set this location as your destination? Yes. Let's hit the road. Hey, did I... leave anything with you? Invalid request. Please specify. I want to know if I left behind any messages. Two logs found from A. Sekigahara. Seriously? Begin playback? Yeah. Show me. So, did you find it? My... Well, your intuition was right. I'm leaving this message as a precaution, just in case I lose my memory sooner than I expect. You've still got work to do if you want to escape this world. You must acquire the data logs from 2188. One more thing. And this takes priority over all else. You can't let Chihiro Morimura execute Operation Aegis. She holds a position as a nurse at Sakura High School, but it's all under false pretenses. Stop her at all costs. My headaches are getting worse. I'm running out of time. In any case, some interesting developments have come up. I've confirmed that Iori Fuyusaka was able to use the gate. I checked the log she left behind. The ID she used was Morimura's biometric ID. Iori Fuyusaka is Chihiro Morimura. Knowing this, well, the answer's obvious, isn't it? Playback complete. No, it's not obvious. Fuyusaka is Morimura? How is that possible? And what did I decide to do? Right? Even your even your current self thinks your past self was way too ambiguous. Wait, you know about Okino? So this is the place. Now what am I gonna find here? Will Okino help? Locked. This factory has to be what I'm here for. Well, look who we have here. Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? Uh, something wrong? No, nothing. Uh, let me guess. You finally lost your memories, right? <laughs> How... How did you know? Just by the way you're acting. Kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. Do you know... what I was trying to do here? That's odd. Okino. You're in my way. And you are? Hmm. <sighs> it didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. You recognize me, don't you? No, I don't. That can't be. Oh. Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. <laughs> Why do you get up in everyone's business, Okino? You get a kick. Can't be. <coughs> a third generation model. 
Sentinel number 19. So this is where it was transmitted. Is this a hangar for Sentinels? Awfully persistent, aren't you? Fine. You got me. Pills the android gave me in the underground facility in 2104. They slowed the effects of DD-426. I know it's you, Okino. Even in this outfit, you managed to catch me. Have you been in hiding ever since the incident? Just laying low in Sector 5? Why doesn't Okino want to be found by anyone? I need to stop the effects of DD-426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? Uh, no. Right. This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you, a Sekigahara. You were on the battlefield too, yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode, which resulted in the loss of my memories. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines, and I was able to create a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. He backed himself up in his own nanomachines that were already in his brain? That sounds risky. Let me get this straight. You're a program that simulated <laughs> Okino? But you're also in Okino's body. Yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain, I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. But you're still not the same. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Whether we retain our memories or not, we're never the same as our past selves. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. And now... Oh, perfect timing. Huh? Hijiyama-kun! Over here! Help! Huh? Kiriko-san! What's going on? Th that man! Hey, who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Please, make him go away. Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino! <laughs> and then Okino shifted, and then Sekigahara brought Hijiyama here to the future. Okino. Or to the sector. Remember now? Sukasa Okino. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. Let's try this again. Okino, do you really have to stand so close to him? Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. <laughs> yeah, right. Now concentrate, Eisekigahara. Try to remember why you kept coming back here. How are you feeling? My head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? We're ready to go. Oh. There was one thing I wanted to ask you. 
You seemed very reluctant to go through with this at first, but now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. I'll be sure to preserve that memory for you. <laughs> Why does everyone hate you? Walk me through the steps once more. Sure. First, I'll input a memory extraction code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, though, can't be saved. Then, a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work together with your own brain. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. The relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision-making. I just... I hate myself. I really don't need a simulated personality. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nano machines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories, though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. I'll only be able to map roughly 30% of the region per scan. So you'll have to make multiple trips. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Try listing any words starting with A that come to mind. As you say each word, imagine the object in your head. A. Apple. Asphalt. Anchor. Seems really rough. Cryptic note. Should I go back down the alleyway? Okay, I might as well. I guess but for now I have to cooperate. I guess this is how BJ dies. My memories. Tomorrow once classes are over, I'll pay a visit to the school. 
But Minami knows you. You saved her. No, that no, that wasn't Minami. That was Tomi. Uh, did you meet Minami? Hey, Yori. Oh, hey, Nachan. What are you up to? I'm just waiting for someone. Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, see you. Hey, Eikun. Were you waiting for me? Mm-hmm. I was hoping you'd show up. I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your... I... Lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help, but I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. <laughs> he has issues. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About... My memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick <laughs> around long. Why do you like him? Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Do you know a first year by the name of Natsunomi Nami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. <sighs> that girl in gym clothes. She's probably gone by now. Do you know Nachan? No, not at all. Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm, I don't think so. Yori-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan. Miwa-chan, so are things going well with you two? Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. I don't think it is, <laughs> but so you you're always happy. No, huh? oh, you didn't go to second, did you? Miwa! Already, Yori-chan? You move fast. Are you done? Oh, sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa-chan. Well, anyway, just keep at it. Thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. You know what these numbers mean? Y yes I think so. Please, tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm-hmm. My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You got this, Yori-chan. Wait, Miwa-chan. <coughs> a message service, huh? <sighs> Megumi! Megumi! Karabe? Later for you, Sakasan. Oh, Karabe-kun. See you later. That's Juro Izumi. Yakushiji. He's the one receiving nano machine treatment, and she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. She's definitely up to something. It's base two six. She's Natsunomi Nami. She was the one who had that data unit. Where do I go from here? Oh, I guess I'm following them. Where are you going? There's something I need to do. Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. No, Megumi's just doing her own thing. Being crazy. With an invisible talking cat. It says Kurabe on the nameplate. Do they both live here together? Table set for three. Miyurakun, dinner's already. 
So we meet again. It's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Now tell me, you said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Jiro! Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? I guess we're doing this whole thing now. A cat? No way. You are not a talking cat. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nanomachine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hmm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. Bastard! Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miura-kun! Sekigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? Luffy, how did you do that? How did Sekigahara see you? <sighs> oh, uh, hello again. Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomosan. Just know. I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Hey, Miura. I saw Tamao Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. But I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. <sighs> I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara. I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. That's good. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find
find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way, but as it has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup, and it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. That's why BG is looking down. for Se Sentinel-17? By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh, well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. We can still keep going. But now we know about the cryptic note. <laughs> Thank you, Miwa. Uh, no, let's not look at that. Student, she's not. She's likely already gone home by now. I'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. Is it? Can't I? These numbers are for the mess. One. Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> These numbers. Oh, there you go. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. phone if that message from myself was true then Natsu no me a step closer to recovering my memories if I can really believe what I heard that is I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami I just need to find her first now how should I approach this 
I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsunami Nami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunami Nami? I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. I don't want to kill BJ. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. It's basic. Well, let's keep moving. Uh oh. Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. I'd better stay out of sight. Excuse me, where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? Natsunomi. I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. That's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. We're never going to see Natsuno at this rate. Where'd she go? Is she leading me somewhere? Is she messing with me? <coughs> Feels like she is. She's definitely up to something. Um. Natsunomi Nami. Bastard! Stray the hell away from Natsan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Stop this right now, you two! Fine. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. Yeah, I don't know what side he's on, too. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in... Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> So those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? Yuki Takamiya. She delivered the data unit to me near the riverbank. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Vita. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this, 
Original Sekigahara is an assassin? Morimura is that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly, the hell were you doing with that four eyed bastard? I'm an assassin? Morimura. So I really did do it. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. I wasn't too worried about you. Knowing you, I figured you'd keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> so tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your Sentinel was the source of the infection. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Yida, did you launch DD-426? It's looking like it, because you're suspicious as heck. What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on, but it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. By loop, you mean going <coughs> back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created with... 
I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. <sighs> You're looking rather pale. <sighs> Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? <sighs> you and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? <sighs> so then... What do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. <laughs> Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know the data will be useful in the next world, so I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such... He's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? But Mira's his friend. He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why. But he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. You're well, really good at manipulating people, Ida. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never... To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. So they have no reason to look for us. <sighs> hey, Miura. I'm glad you're okay. Wow. We're getting there. Koto. And it's back to Natsuno. Actually, I'm just gonna unlock everyone I can. But I think that's enough for today. Yeah, we'll start with Natsuno next time, which, um, might be tomorrow, if I have time. Otherwise, um, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be out of town next week. 
so I won't be streaming then. So either tomorrow or in two weeks, we'll uh, continue where we left off. I still need to like run the battles too and stuff for <laughs> what we've got. But yeah, we made good progress. So we learned we're not actually time traveling, but we doing some weird sector colonization stuff. <coughs> Still got to fight the kaiju. And I guess we're ultimately trying to not do Operation Aegis even though we're technically kind of are through the battles. I'm so confused, but uh <laughs> maybe I'll work it out by the time like our uh, next time I stream. So I'll catch you then.